Good afternoon guys, welcome back to the channel. I like to welcome all the new subscribers to the channel and the continued supporters as well. Welcome back. So today's project is the Super C. I took my daughters for a ride the other night, uh, hooked the little trailer up, put a couple of lounge chairs in it, and we went for a ride down to the lake and back. And when I got home, I noticed that I had a little bit of a bubble, um, a little like oil, and maybe a little bit of water too coming out from under the head gasket so i ordered a new head gasket kit for the tractor and i am going to replace it some say you could retorque the bolts i'd rather not if it's leaking it's bad so that's the project for today well i've already got the hood off i've taken the alternate alternator belt off got to take the uh fan belt off and take all the plugs wire plug wires off i've already disconnected the battery as well so that's it for today uh we're gonna go on and get this thing set up on the tripod and get started also too i do have the other back half from out front it is inside and the gears are off i mean well the cover's off gears are in really good shape also too that's what's left of the farm all m the my m and i've got some metal tubing under there i'm going to build a stand to sit this on so i can get the jack stands out from under it and onto this and this way once i put it on the stand i'm building it'll make it easier to pull the rear axle housings off so that's it uh i'm gonna get the super c taken care of and then we're going to get back on the 46 m so let me switch over to the tripod and get this thing going it is late in the afternoon i do have to work tomorrow i'm tired i spent the past two days installing uh attic vents up here in the attic on one on both ends to try and get rid of some of the heat because it is really hot it's the worst worst august i've seen in a very long time so enough about the weather report let's get switched over and get this thing going so we can get home and eat some ice cream stay tuned
All right, we have got the head off the tractor and there is moisture around it. I don't know if it come off or come out of the, the jackets of the head when I lifted it up, but I'm willing to say no because of the oil and the moisture right there. So you know it, it was leaking. The cylinder walls look pretty good. I don't, oh yeah, cylinder walls feel real good. So there is a little bit of carbon on top of the pistons, but that can be expected based on what gas, oil, whatever that was used in the tractor to begin with. So uh, I could have possibly torqued the head bolts back down and rode on with it, but no, I would rather not. And there is some buildup in the water jackets here. So whenever I decide to restore this tractor, which I will eventually, uh, all that all that'll be cleaned out when we uh, dip the block. So, well, I am going to uh, put the camera back on the tripod and get the gasket off, clean all this up, and put the new gasket on after I check it, make sure that it is not warped. And like I said, I'm pretty sure it's not, the head's not warped. So let's get that done and then we'll move on to the reassembly. Thanks again for watching and we'll be back shortly. back on uh, everything checked out good I didn't see any imperfections in the top of the block or the base of the head I figure the three bolts over here were loose and it wasn't torqued properly so we're just going to say that was the issue and put it back together but like I said I didn't see any any issues at all so and like I said these three studs out here, over here, just came out. So I, I'm going to say it wasn't torque properly. So let me get this out of the way, get this chain off. We're going to put the, the nuts back on the studs and get this thing torqued down properly.
welcome back to the end of the video everything's back together um, everything's tight I double checked and triple checked everything to make sure that everything is together everything's tight so let's pull the switch and pull the starter arm and see if she fires up ready let's do it So that's it. I'd like to thank everyone for watching, new subscribers as well as returning viewers. If you're checking out the channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notifications bell. So every time I release a new video or put one out, you'll be one of the first ones to know. I do appreciate the support to the channel and of the channel. So uh, thanks again for watching and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, and you can leave us a comment. If you like this kind of stuff, please let me know. If you'd like to see more of it, please let me know. Any questions, please let me know. So don't forget, hit that little subscribe button down in the corner. Give us a thumbs up, thumbs down, comment, and we'll see you next time from Old Red Tractors. Have a great evening.